I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have a tasting and review of some Polish European biscuits, is what they're calling at least some of these. And we picked them up because they look a lot like Jaffa Cakes. And if you've seen some of our other videos, you know how much we love Jaffa Cakes and they are hard to find here. I guess they also look like the Pims as well. We've right. had Pims. Mm -hmm. But we were super excited. We went to KP International, which is a huge, huge grocery store. It's primarily a lot of Asian food, but they do have um, a European, South American section off to the side. And for the European, we did find a few British items in there, which was exciting, but it's a lot of Eastern European foods. So these are all from Poland. And of course, the other thing I got super excited about, I found black currant flavor. And as you know, or not know, black currant is very hard to find here. And a lot of people have told us, well, it's it's banned in the U.S. and, and uh, yeah. that used to be the case, but it is not the case anymore, at least right. for for most areas. So we can get it, but because, I think because of the ban, it's pretty much an unknown flavor over here. Purple mm -hmm. always equals grape. Yes. But since we've tried a few black currant things from the UK, I was excited to try these. So we got two items from two different brands here. Yeah, we got one called, I'm not sure you pronounce that. Delice. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And this is sort of like your traditional orange. And raspberry. And I picked up two by Krakus. We have a cherry. And then of course the black currant. Black currant is also limited edition, so that was another reason I had to pick it up. So we may never find it again. So. We'll have to go back and look. Yeah. So let's go ahead and tear into let's tear into the orange first because that's what we've tried before. Like we got to sample the McVitie's finally. Mm -hmm. Orange flavor Jaffa cakes. We've had orange. Did we have the Pims yeah, as we well? Did. Or was that raspberry? I can't remember. They come no. in orange and raspberry. And also, usually we can find Jacob's Jaffa Cakes, which are in orange. Yeah. Now I'm beginning to second guess when we have the <laughs> Jacob's. You know, what was it? Was it? it was, the Jacob's were orange, for sure. I've only seen the orange flavor. But the Pims, I know we get in orange and raspberry. And we did do a taste test comparing Jaffa Cakes and Pims. I will make a link to that up the top there if you want to take a look at that. A wonderful smell. Mmm, yeah, I can smell the orange. Are we gonna have a whole one or split? I leave it up to you. See why I gently put it on the cutting board. I see that. Yeah. Look at that. Well, it actually looks kind of dark, the jam jelly part of it, doesn't it? Well, maybe it's because the chocolate's blocking the light. I, I... <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. That familiar flavor. Love that combination. Yeah. Just got kind of a thin layer of jam. I wish we had some actual like McVitie's that we could compare them to good. side by side. And what is compare it? the orange flavor as well as how, just how much jam is in the middle. Not too bad they can't do something like what Oreo does with a, the double stuff because we could double the jam. <laughs> I wouldn't complain about that. Mm -hmm. They like? Yeah, those are good. Good. I am looking forward to our next flavors though. Okay, next one. What do you want to try? Let's try the raspberry. Okay. From the same brand. Mm -hmm. And we love we love orange and chocolate together. We also love raspberry and chocolate together too. Especially dark chocolate. Yes. Got a whiff. Mm, yep, smell that raspberry. Mm. <laughs> the smell delicious. Okay. Number two. And we've also seen the Melka brand. They also have Jaffa cakes out now too. I think they actually call theirs Jaffa. I don't see that listed here, but I noticed Melka is using that term. Yeah. Jaffa. Mm hmm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I do love raspberry flavor. That's really good. Something about the raspberry with the chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful combination. Mm-hmm. And the fact it's not on a hard, crumbly cookie. So, yeah. Yeah, really, really love those with the mm-hmm. soft biscuit on the bottom. Put up the two. Do you have a preference? I'm really liking the raspberry. Yeah. As much as I like orange and chocolate, I'm liking the raspberry. What about you? I uh, you. That was my Same answer thing? too. Mm-hmm. I know you love chocolate and raspberry too. Yeah. So now we have the Krakus brand, and this will be the cherry flavor biscuits with chocolate cherry. And I forgot how much these were. I, I'm thinking maybe they were like two dollars, maybe less than two dollars a package, which would be. Yeah, two. I thought maybe two or three. I, I don't remember. It was quite a while ago when we got these. Yeah, but I know they were less than what we typically pay at um, Touch of Britain and also um, Cost Plus World Market. I can smell. It smells nice. What's interesting is these actually have the brand Ooh, name on the bottom. Good. Well, see that right there. Pardon my fingers, but uh, we also have the brand name. Oh, it does. I didn't see it. There you go. Yes. Let's compare. Can you flip it over? Just curious. One looks like it has more jam than the other. But is that jam higher on that one? Maybe. Okay, we're, we're splitting well, hairs. Let's dissect it and yeah. see what it looks like. Splitting hairs on the jam. Okay. And did that one have 10 biscuits? I noticed this one had 10. I would so have probably to the same. Okay. Seems like there's right. more jam on here. I think there is more. I think there yeah. might be, yeah. Hmm. Boop. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's good. Another nice one. Mm-hmm. Cherry and chocolate also goes well together. Some of Chocolate and cherry together remind me of Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, those are... You know, I really can't tell the difference between the um, the cookie part of it. No, no. I think, like you mentioned, there might be just a little bit more jam on these. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Down Very good. To, down to one last year favorite. Last but not least, Limited. the black currant. Yep. Limited edition. There was more room in this one. <laughs> I can really smell that. Yeah. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. You ready to be amazed? See, this one's super exciting just because black currant is such a rare flavor over here. Yeah, just don't see it. jam. Mm-hmm. That really has a nice flavor. It is. It has a really nice flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we had one of each. Or half of one of each. Mm-hmm. After trying all four now, what is your favorite? This is a tough one. I might still go for the raspberry. I'm really loving that, but I do like that these seem to have a little bit more jam in them. Mm-hmm. Yes. So maybe I go raspberry, black currant, orange, and then cherry. Okay. I think. I like them all, but mm-hmm. what about you? I would go raspberry, black currant. The um, I think I would I'd choose cherry for last. So. So basically the same as me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I still can't help it. You know, when I was a kid, I got sick all the time. 
Mm. Had cherry cough drops to the point where every time I had a cough drop, it was, my parents always picked up cherry. Yeah. When I was a little wee lad. <laughs> to the point of anytime you tasted something that was cherry flavored, you always think of oh, those Hall's cough drops or the secrets. Yeah, uh, especially a lot of the things for the sore throat seem to always be cherry. Yeah. But at the same time, around the holidays, had a lot of cherry flavored things. That's when I was mentioning the whole thing about it. Mm-hmm. Kind of reminds me of Christmas, the whole chocolate with cherry flavor yeah. to it. But yeah, I basically copycatted you. <laughs> as far as preference. we have similar tastes in the in these biscuits, anyway. Yeah, but uh, yeah, very happy to find these at KP. I know these were not the easiest cookies to find other places, so. Yeah, I think that was the other exciting thing. Not only did we find these in so many different flavors compared to, say, for example, when we do find the Jacob's Jaffa Cakes, they just come in orange. And because we get them in the import stores, they tend to be more expensive. Yeah. So it was exciting to see these for a cheaper price and also the variety of flavors. And I think they even had more flavors than this. We just had to stop and control ourselves because we were picking up so many items. Yeah. But I don't recall what the other flavors were. I honestly don't recall either, um, <clears throat> but I do know that, you know, as we've done, say, uh, different box reviews, I remember there was uh, candies that we had from, like, say, Ukraine, and then as we're going up and down the aisles, I remember, oh, there's, was it, Minky? The Minky Binky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we well, were excited to see those. I wanted to pick them up. Yeah. And uh, there was one box we had, I'm trying to remember what country it was, but uh, Halva? Yes. Um... Was it Turkey? It might have I don't been. remember for sure, but yeah, we saw Halva there. In fact, we picked some up. Yeah, yeah. and when we had the Halva from the box, it was like, oh yeah, this is really good. You know, if we saw this again, and then we're there and we see multiple varieties there right. with pistachios, plain, different mm-hmm. varieties. It was yeah, nice. yeah. So that's a fun store to go to. We'll have to go back there again. Yeah, definitely. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye.